Hello students and welcome back to another edition of Industrial Valco University where you can get your PVF degree for free. I'm Professor Jim. I'll be taking you on this journey. This episode of IV University is brought to you by Speedability where you can get your items in two hours or less. Also iValco.com where you can get over 25,000 line items of PVF with our 24-7 online ordering. Today we're going to talk about chain wheel operators. Now I know a lot of you have seen these, but you don't know either how they work or what exactly they do. So today we're going to briefly discuss what a chain wheel operator does. In fact, just like when grandma takes the kids to McDonald's on a Saturday afternoon and leave you and your spouse at home all alone for a bit, this will be a quickie. All right, chain wheel operators are used to operate a valve when it's either in an inaccessible or very hard to reach area. So for example, let's say you have a valve that is 15 feet up in the air bolted to a pipe. How can you turn that valve off and on? Well, you can use an actuator that can open and close the valve remotely using electricity, but this can be very costly. Or you can use a quicker and easier way that is a little less expensive by using a chain wheel operator. The chain wheel will easily attach to the hand wheel of the valve ranging from 2 inches to about 36 inches in diameter. As you deal in all PVF, of course, these standard components are going to change depending on the size and the scope of what you're dealing with. But I did want to kind of quickly show you, maybe we can even get an overhead on this, we'll find out. But I wanted to show you, so here's the gear operator, here's the hand wheel of this 2 inch valve. You take this, kind of pops in right here and then you use the screws and the clamps to clamp it down and you got yourself an easy assembly to get you going and on your way. Most chain wheels come simply enough with a wheel consisting of a sprocket, set collar, chain guide, and slots. And to hold it in place some U-straps, carriage bolts, and lock washers and nuts. And then of course you're going to need enough chain dependent on where the valve is placed. Make sure you have extra length for that. Now today we're using the Roto Hammer CL series from Rotorque that comes with easy to install instructions. Even though we're using the chain for the CL series in this instance, the chain itself is good for any of the chain wheel operators. And the chain sometimes will go by the name of, let me see if I can get this right, a single loop lock link chain, which is a mouthful, but I did it like a boss. These chains are available for ordering online at iValco.com and for your convenience, after you purchase a chain wheel operator, you're able to see which chains needed and be able to easily click on that link to purchase also. And that leads us to today's Did You Know? Industrial Valco University presents Did You Know? Did you know a chain drive is a way of transmitting mechanical power from one place to another? It is often used to convey power to the wheels of a vehicle, particularly bicycles and motorcycles. It's also used in a wide variety of machines, including water mills. Most often, the power is conveyed by a roller chain, known as the drive chain or transmission chain, passing over a sprocket gear, with the teeth of the gear meshing with the holes in the links of the chain. The gear is turned, and this pulls the chain, putting mechanical force into the system. And as you can see with the chain wheel operator for valves, it follows this method by grabbing the chain with its teeth and then being able to be rotated to open and close the valve with the pull of the chain. Philo of Byzantium, or later dubbed Philo Mechanicus, a Greek engineer in 250 BC, is given credit for inventing and normalizing this type of tool. Although I'm sure in a few years Netflix is going to come out with a movie or a documentary on how it was actually his wife's idea and then he just took all the credit. What are you going to do? Okay, as easy as a chain wheel operator is to set up and to use, it is very wise to know some of the dangers that might be associated with using a chain wheel operator. When you do work with chain wheel operators, be sure to understand there is a potential for failures and so if you have a valve overhead, you do need to make sure you're taking the proper precautions. These precautions are one, inventory all locations where chain wheel operated valves are located. Two, evaluate whether the metal composition, coatings, and other aspects of the chain wheel operated valves construction are appropriate for the conditions. Three, inspect the method used to attach the chain wheels to the valve hand. Four, review preventative and periodic maintenance procedures for chain wheel operated valves. And five, 
Assess the suitability of working surfaces available to employees operating or working on chain wheel operated valves. And speaking of safety, a bonus did you know? Did you know? Did you know that you can purchase a Rotohammer safety cable online and from all eight of our IV locations? Rotohammer has an integrated and anchor point that prevents serious injury by tethering the chain wheel from falling off the hand wheel and saving an unsuspected bystander from getting a splitting headache. Pun intended. Okay, gang, in conclusion, chain wheel operators are used for valves in inaccessible or very hard to reach applications. They are easily attached to the hand wheel of valves ranging from two inch to 36 inches in diameter. They are very easy to install and are less expensive than an electric valve actuator. And you need to make sure you take extra safety precautions when installing due to the height and weight of many of the valves with the chance of a very serious injury. And with that, we are done. We do have a few extra moments. So we're gonna do some viewer email. Let's go to the mailbag. Hey, Professor Jim. I would have to say stone for stone or pound for pound, as you say here in America, you have to be the most knowledgeable person in the PVF industry. Have you always been working in the industrial industry? Cheers, M. Markle, Hollywood, California via London. Hey, I'm Markle. Thank you very much for the email. You know, I've actually had many jobs in my life. I've been a fry cook, a valet. I've been a puppet, a pauper, a pirate, a poet, a pawn and a king. I've been up and down and over and out. And I know one thing. Each time I find myself lying flat on my face, I just get myself up and get back in the race that's life that's life and i can't deny it many times many times i thought of quitting but my heart ain't gonna buy it but if there's nothing shaking come here this july i'm gonna roll myself up in a big ball